Welcome to another Essential RC flight test. Today here we have the OMP Hobby um, M2 helicopter. Now this is a little bit different to your normal uh, micro helicopter because it's actually direct drive um, on both the tail and main rotor. So um, it makes it really quiet. I have hovered it in the garden quickly just to, just to make sure it's all set up but it's not done a, a proper flight yet. Um, and so far it, it seems quite impressive. Um, one thing I will show you with this little heli if you, if you decide to buy one of these and order one, um, if you fly through Tarba, um, you must ensure that you let them know and they will provide you with this little tiny Futaba S-Bus receiver. Um, so that is actually a, a fully fledged S-Bus receiver. Um, you can also plug in a DSM satellite receiver here. Um, and then this is the fly barless controller because the heli is of course fly barless um, and also the speed controller for the tail, the gyro for the tail and the speed controller for the, the main road here um, and basically does everything connecting to these uh, little digital servos on the main swash. Everything's a direct link so there's very little, very little slop on the control surfaces. Um, so yeah, really nice little bit of kit. The battery's nicely held in with this little switch here which when you pull it out you can slide the battery out. Um, and then when you push it back in, you just literally push it until it clicks. Um, so that's really nice and secure as well. So everything you need in the box, pretty much, you just need a transmitter. Um, so all I have brought with me today is my Futaba transmitter. Everything else is supplied, ready to go in the box. Um, and I suppose it took me probably about 20 minutes to set it up on the transmitter. Um, on their website, you get all of the instructions on how to set it up. So it tells you um, all of your pitch curves, your throttle curves, uh, exponential settings, if you want to use that sort of stuff. Everything is on their website in, or in the manual. So uh, yeah, you can, you can set it up pretty quickly. Um, and this heli, which we'll show in a minute, is also super suitable for beginners as well as more experienced pilots. Okay, so here we are with the OMP Hobby uh, M2. Let's take it for its first little spin um, and I will also show you why it's suitable for, uh, for a beginner to have a go on their first heli with. I want to demonstrate here. This is in normal mode, or what we call um, so, yeah, just normal mode. The heli is actually holding a level, a level flight on its own, so that's completely hands off. If I push right on the stick and let go, it levels itself back up again. Um, so it won't hold because it's got no GPS, but it will keep itself level in this mode, um, and it's got a much lower head speed in this mode as well so uh, full right let go and it will level itself out although it will travel um, it will keep the the rotor blades level um, so I've never never flown a heli with this system before but it certainly makes learning to fly heli quite easy so we push off into some circuits okay so as I bring it up into line lock one you'll hear the head speed increase and then climb up to, you'll hear the head speed increase even more than you And then, if I put full throttle on, you'll see that the climb rate on this heli is quite insane. So as you can see from that, the heli's certainly not lacking any performance. Um, so now we're pushing for, uh, into a circuit.
So, certainly a really capable little heli. Now, I'm no pro heli flyer. Um, I can just kind of do a little bit of sport stuff, and I haven't flown a heli for a couple of years, if I'm honest. Um, so, picking a heli up feels great again, um, and I'm really impressed with this, especially in that kind of beginner mode. Um, normally with micro helis, they're not ideal for learners because the bigger the rotor, the more stable it is. Um, but with this system, it, it's really, really stable. I mean, you can completely hands off the hover, although it will drift, as I said, because it doesn't have uh, GPS hold like a drone does, but it keeps the rotor blades level. So if you did start to panic, you could just lower the throttle and let it land, and it will keep the rotor blades level on its own. Um, in idle up one and two, as you saw, it's got plenty of power. Uh, and the one thing I'm really super impressed with is how well that tail holds with a direct drive motor. Um, this tail has, has uh, no ability to change the pitch on the blades it's purely just done by RPM which is really impressive for such a small heli so 10 out of 10 um, heli here I mean it's the, the build quality is fantastic the, it flies fantastically um, the nice price color schemes great keep keep uh, keep an eye on what, what it's doing and uh, yeah it's it's super impressive little heli thanks for watching this episode of essential RC the link is in the description below for this product so uh, take a look at that click on it I'm sure you'll be quite uh, quite surprised how good value this heli is for, for everything it comes with um, be sure to subscribe to the channel for, for future videos and uh, see you next time A bit of inverted, a bit closer, but my heli flying skills are a bit rusty.